Hello, I'm Robert Culp. Tonight on Comedy Central's Spyography, we turn a spotlight on one of the world's most celebrated covert operatives. The subject of our program tonight, a spy, a swinger, an acclaimed fashion photographer, a defender of freedom and free love, and now a movie star, Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. Change is my middle name. England swings like a pendulum do. And in the eye of this psychedelic storm is Austin Powers, international man of mystery. Hey, viva Las Vegas, baby! Austin Powers is the man of his generation. Come on, baby, work with me, show me love. Austin Powers is a mysterious man-child. Yeah! Austin Powers is still groovy. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Come on, darling. Come on, let's go. What an international man of mystery is, is someone who is called upon the drop of a hat to save the world, while at the same time by day being a swinger, baby. That's what an international man of mystery is all about. And I like to think that I embody that. His life, his loves, and his libido have become the stuff of legend, but nothing more so than his final mission of the 60s. Oh, oh, let's go. My last mission, I had to get Dr. Evil, who is my nemesis. You see, I'm the mongoose to his snake, if you will. I've got you now, Dr. Evil. Not this time. Come, Mr. Bigglesworth. See you in the future, Mr. Powers. <laughs> He's freezing himself. In 1967, Austin volunteered to have himself frozen in case Dr. Evil should ever return. Everybody remembers where they were when they heard Austin had been frozen. We were doing some shooting out in Malibu. We had to close the set down for a couple of hours so that people could compose themselves. In 1997, Austin was unfrozen to save the world. Well, what happened was I was unfrozen. I saved the world. The people at New Line heard about it, and they approached me, and they said, we'd like to do a movie about your life. Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. Rated PG-13. Opening May 2nd, available at a theater near you. Having a movie made of one's exploits would in itself be an honor. For Powers, it was a chance to showcase yet another talent, actor, as Austin chose to portray himself in the big-budget production. The people at New Line, they said, well, what about Jeff Goldblum? And I thought, I like Jeff, I really do, he's smashing, but why not pull a Melissa and Joan Rivers story and have me play myself? Allow myself to introduce myself. My name is Richie Cunningham, and this is my wife, Oprah. The co-stars of my movie are Elizabeth Hurley. <laughs> yeah, baby, yeah! She plays Vanessa Kensington, who is the lady that's attached to me, literally, cheeky, to help me save the world. Let me ask you a question, and be honest. Oh! Do I make you horny, Randy? Do I make you horny, baby? Yeah, do I? Come on, I hope this is part of the unfreezing process. Oh, turn it! Oh, turn it! Oh, I fell over! I fell over again! Oh, oh. Mr. Powers! I will never have sex with you, ever. If you were the last man on Earth and I was the last woman on Earth, and the future of the human race depended on our having sex simply for procreation, I still would not have sex with you. What's your point, Vanessa? Then there's Robert Wagner, who uh, is just, to me, he is the ultimate swinger. In fact, if you look in the dictionary under swinging, you see his picture, baby. Game is blackjack, gentlemen. Do you mind if I join you? 17. Hit me. I like to live dangerously. Five. I'll stay. I also like to live dangerously. Michael York is fabulous as well. You know, I fancy him. I fancy him rotten, baby. I play Basil Exposition, who's head of British intelligence. It's based, of course, on a real character. 
As you can see, I've had to try to look as Basil for this interview. Because you know, normally my hair is down to my back, and, uh, you know, I have a beard and a mustache. So it was quite a sacrifice to, you know, get rid of all that and, you know, play this clean-cut type. But, um, you know, they call it... <laughs> I suppose it's suffering for your art. Austin, I'd like you to meet somebody. This is my mother, Mrs. Exposition. How do you do? Yeah. <laughs> Austin! Oh, my God, man, what have you done? That's not your mother, it's a man, baby! Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Come on, no. why won't this oh, wig come off? Oh, my God! Uh. Austin! Yeah, hold on, hold on, Mother. No, 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 my mother! Oh, oh, mother. Mother, are you all right? Oh, dear. What? Austin, have you gone mad? No. It was really a great pleasure to work with Austin Powers as an actor. You have a lot of explaining to do. I'm sorry, Basil, I thought she was a man. Damn it, man, you're talking about my mother. Well, you have to admit, she is rather mannish. Austin! Well, no offense, but... If that is a woman, it does look like she was beaten with an ugly stick. The only bad thing about working with Michael York is seeing how gorgeous he is and having to go through that whole questioning of your own sexuality, you know. Do I bat for the other side, you know? I can't tell. Why am I attracted to him? Why is it that when I'm making love to a bird, I look down and see his face? Film work is exhausting. I mean, you just don't have time for this extracurricular activity. <laughs> Hollywood wasn't sure he could open a picture. I think we can see he proved them wrong. We'll be right back with more of Comedy Central's spyography, Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. Tonight, the phone will fall into the wrong hands. Ours. Yay! I'm ba ba ba. Do you have those pumps for the penis? You guys do drug tests? You like Chinese girls? Of course I do, don't you? They're the best. Are you familiar with the name Arthur Bunghole? But y'all do keep it real over there, right? You mean like a movie reel? Real crank calls. Real victims. Real puppets. Crank Yankers. New episode tonight at 10.30, only on Comedy Central. Pick it up. It's for you. Freezing Slurpee surrounded by refreshing Coca-Cola Classic, the new Slurp and Go. Ah! Gateway's new desktops are sleeker, more powerful, and extremely affordable. And right now, you can get a Gateway 500 SE with an Intel Pentium 4 processor, a free CD burner, and monitor upgrade for just $6.99 after a $100 mail-in rebate. 800 Gateway for details. Look, this is a dirty fuel injector. This is a clean one. As you can see, cleaner works better. That's why I use STP fuel injector cleaner in my car. I add STP every time I change my oil. STP, it's basic car maintenance. We'll never sell this ugly house. Don't worry, we'll buy it. Who are you? Homevestors, the ugly house people. But can you buy it fast? We want a fair price, Mr. Homevestors. Is this offer fair enough? Sold! Where are you? All over the country. We're that familiar yellow sign. Homevestors. Oh. Call now, toll free at 1-866-66-WE-BUY. We buy houses. Yes, even ugly ones. Go in for Mega Movies on In Demand. And to what do I owe this pleasure? The pleasure of Sophia. When did you stop caring, David? You've been charged with murder. Boop. Julie is alive. You're in OJ land. Someone did this to me. I didn't kill anyone! Order Vanilla Sky on In Demand Pay-Per-View. Order this Mega Movie from AT&T Broadband.
We now return to Comedy Central's Spyography, Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. Not many people are aware of this, but the four of us monkeys were just about to ask Austin Powers to join the band to become the fifth monkey, and then he was frozen. At the time he was frozen, Austin was the man of the moment, you know, but 30 years in the deep freeze knocked him off most A-lists. I have a little bit of a freezer burn problem, because I uh, forgot to date parts of myself. Attention, stage one. Reanimation beginning. Through the Freedom of Information Act, Spyography was able to obtain these heretofore sealed films of the amazing unfreezing process Powers underwent. Stage two. Warm liquid goo phase beginning. We caution. These are graphic pictures and may not be suitable for younger or more delicate viewers. Warm liquid goo phase complete. Stage three. Reanimation complete. Think of the things he missed. Watergate, the bicentennial, hammer time. Can't touch that. Well, it's amazing. Since I've been on Frozen, you've got the fall of the Berlin Wall, end of apartheid, the Gulf War. And I didn't know Liberace was gay. I didn't see that one coming. No way. Women loved him, baby. If you're telling me Liberace's gay, then everyone's gay. Next, you're going to tell me Siegfried and Roy are gay. I mean, come on. You're going to throw away the rule book. I mean, that's crazy, man. Austin seemed to adapt to life in the 90s. I mean, with consummate ease. He was totally at home. The hardest adjustment I've had to make after being frozen for 30 years was my bits and pieces. They get all frozen. Those little boys down there get all mashed together, and I had to sort of like do a little bit of an adjustment, you know, for my bits and pieces and my wedding tackle, my meat and two veg. Oh, that and changing sexual mores. In the 60s, he was called a swinger. Today, we label these people sexaholics. Austin did have a reputation as a swinger, a playboy, a sexual obsessive, the kind of man who was so out of control, so perverse, that at any given moment on any hot summer night, he could crawl right into my window and strap me down and make me scream like a Turkish woman. <laughs> <clears throat> Don't forget that his libido was frozen as well, and uh, it had been potentizing over these all these years. Bring on the sexy stews, man! We're called flight attendants now. My theory is, uh, although I've been frozen for 30 years, as long as people are still having promiscuous sex with many anonymous partners, while at the same time experimenting with mind-expanding drugs in a consequence-free environment, I'll be sound as a pound, baby. I've had some bad relationships in the past, and I have been known to be jealous. No, don't be sorry, baby. You're right to be suspicious. I shagged her. What? I shagged her rotten, baby, yeah. What, did you use protection? Of course. I had my 9 millimeter automatic. A shag is at once a word to describe intimacy. And it's also a word to describe a whole way of life, baby. Do you know what I mean? Shag, of course, means to get your end away, get a leg over, have a bit of the other, a bit of a how's your father, you know. I hope I've made that clear for you. But shag also means a whole lifestyle, baby. You know what I mean? Like, things are shagadelic. They're shagorific. A girl is quite shaggable. You say that he has a reputation as a ladies' man, and how did he behave on the set? Well, I'm... I'm far too much of a gentleman to uh, tittle-tattle. There's far too much of this on American television, by the way. Do you know who my favorite shaggable woman is? RuPaul. I think she's fabulous. Do you know what I mean? She's got this... I think there's a secret going on there. Something's happening. I don't think she's telling us all about herself. You know what I mean? But that RuPaul is really, really shaggable. Oh, yes. Austin's preoccupation with shagging. Well, so you have to remember the times that Austin lived in. Free love wasn't just a bumper sticker. Oh, no. It was also on T-shirts and mugs. There's three things you have to know. Shag, shag, and location. That is the simple philosophy of life. Shag, shag, location. That's all you need to know, baby. 
We'll be right back with more of Comedy Central's spyography. Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. Myers Mania. <laughs> Eight straight hours of SNL starring the one, the only, Mike Myers. Kick back with your family and friends and watch endless hours of me. Part of Myers Mania, today starting at noon, only on Comedy Central. You don't have to touch anything, it's voice activated. 811 Hampton, I'm not yelling, I'm speaking clearly. All righty, kid, make a right, then hop on the freeway. The freeway? Get on the freeway, or I'm taking you to my mother-in-law's house. Just do what the car says. Okay, okay. I don't know, it's a computer. It said take you away. kids bring any snacks? But yes, I have a map, what do Let you me... think? Is it this? That's right. Paradise, baby. Do yourself a favor, get a room. People do some strange things to cars, but Carfax can give you the real history of any used car, and that could save you thousands. Go to Carfax.com or your dealer for a Carfax report. Don't buy a used car without Carfax. This race brought to you by Visa, the official card of the NFL, and the only card accepted at the Olympic Games. And the Visa Triple Crown. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Almost forgot. We're also the official card of NASCAR. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. Now there's a real prevent defense. Like boom, tough actin' tenactin. Nothing's proven to beat athlete's foot better than tenactin. It's so tough it actually prevents athlete's foot. Lamisole can't say that. No way! Get the facts! Get boom! Tough actin' to actin'. Tomorrow at 11, no longer ashamed of their lifestyles. I'm definitely a heterosexual. Mixed gender couples are marching for acceptance. Ed Helms gets the straight story on the heterosexual agenda. The Daily Show with Jon Stewart tomorrow at 11, only on Comedy Central. We now return to Comedy Central's spyography. Austin Powers international man of mystery. Power's early life, his childhood and adolescence are shrouded in mystery. The only records that have ever been found are this set of dental x-rays. Austin Powers changed the face of cool. Now it had an overbite. The charm and magnetism a man like Powers possesses transcends time or place or dental malformations. I'm English and I come from the same tradition and uh, the English are a little behind America in terms of dental hygiene. Well, you have to understand, baby, in the 60s in Britain, you could still be a sexy swinger and you could have bad teeth that didn't matter. No, Austin. Glasses to swing ourselves onto the ledge? Oh. All right, hold on. Got it. Okay. Toothpaste. follow his example. Why do we have to have gleaming teeth and plastic surgery and so on? Why can't we just be ourselves? I think that what they're going to find out is that sugar actually has a lot of nutritional value, you know? We're going to find out that they're going to invent a machine that can actually measure the nutritional value of sugar, and we're going to find out that the teeth are really a vestigial organ, like the appendix. You know what I mean? And when that day comes, we British people are going to have the last toothless laugh. And I think he's a very modest person, but he knows that he has saved the world of humanity. I'm that last gasp of humanity. I'm the last vestige of the soul, the tribal soul within the global village. Do you know what I mean? And I've also got a very big one for my age. Judo! Judo! Austin's unique fighting moves owe as much to ancient Tibetan tribal ritual as they do to Bob Fosse. What with his combination kickball chain, shimmy, swift roundhouse, he's just poetry in motion. Wada! No training, baby. I don't need training to be an international man of mystery. You've got to get in touch with the Mojo Center. See, there are five points in a body. Do you know what I mean? You've got your upper chakra, which is the intellect. 
You've got between the eyes, which I call the extra orbital ridge. That gets you into sort of the primal part of yourself, man the fire gatherer. Then you've got here, this is a communication center, right? That's the chathapdayu, that's what it's called. Then you've got down here, which is the middle chakra, or timmy, as I call it. Then you go lower, and then you've got the lower chakra, which I call the bitsahaydinoha. That's what I call it. And down there's a life force, man, what we call the mojo. So all you have to do is get into a wonderful meditative state and summon the mojo and watch the fur fly, baby. <laughs> I think if I could be a spy in the Austin Powers mode, I'd seize that without any doubt. But by the same token, if one could do both, be a, you know, a world-famous spy and a movie star at the same time, bingo, you hit the jackpot. Well, an international spy is someone who has to be clandestine, lay low, use his guile and wit to save the world, to be called upon for missions that require plausible deniability. An actor has to recite lines and poach from the uh, snack table. So they are somewhat different. Which do you prefer? I like snacking. I prefer snacking. We'll be right back with more of Comedy Central's spyography, Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. Tonight at 8, tune in for the Summer Movie Megaplex presentation of Class Act. Then it's The Man Show and Crank Yankers, only on Comedy Central. In 1935, Foxwood Farms started with one horse and a truck. The horse was a thoroughbred, the truck a Chevy Suburban. Today, they have a few more horses, but there's still only one truck, Chevy Suburban. With an available 8.1 liter Vortec engine, it's capable of towing up to six tons, making it the best Suburban yet. Chevy Suburban, like a rock. Hello. Which would you prefer? This nice untoasted sub? Or this Quiznos toasted sub? I could get hurt. Wouldn't even cross the street for the Quiznos toasted sub. The only way to beat a Quiznos oven toasted sub is to cheat. Try our honey mustard chicken and Swiss sub with bacon and honey mustard dressing on Quiznos ciabatta bread. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Toasty. Sometimes you just want your home to smell fresh. Febreze is great for freshness all over the house. It eliminates stale odors and stuffiness. So the whole house feels fresh air clean. Which is a nice surprise for the whole family. It smells nice in here. Febreze. The more you use it, the more you love it. Try it in the car, too. Wait till you see this. You'll love it. Well, Howie, you're gonna love this, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. During the Compact Computer Clearance Sale at Radio Shack, get a free printer and $50 to $150 off selected computers after mail-in rebates. So what do you think, Terry? Terry. Yeah. That's sweet. And yours? Nothing. Only at Radio Shack. Here. When the Edmonds upgraded to Bell South Fast Access DSL, they knew life would change. Yeah, I'm online. The lightning speed lets them take everything they do to the next level. Bye, honey. Good luck at the science fair. So Mom is finally creating a digital photo album. I can't believe you let me go like that. My hair looks ridiculous. Hold on a second. How's it going, huh? While Dad Great. transforms the house, Great. room by room. Oh. Now they all have a high-speed internet connection that helps them do better. Can I get in here real quick? Hold on a second. No, no, talk, talk, talk. It doesn't tie up their phone line, and it costs just 45 bucks a month. That's what I thought. I'm a genius. They even got a free DSL modem and $50 cash back. How smart am I for getting DSL? Oh, yeah. Mike is also doing a little better in school. A little help here, please? Visit fastaccess.com and order Bell South Fast Access DSL for your family. Connect and create something. Bell South.
want more Crank Anchors? Job, Turkey. Log on to ComedyCentral.com, click on Crank Anchors, and start dialing. Listen to your favorite calls, go behind the scenes, and get exclusive info on your favorite Crank Anchors. So log on to ComedyCentral.com and get cranking. I got your ass. You do? We now return to Comedy Central's Spyography, Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. Besides his unparalleled reputation as an international man of mystery, Powers also had a reputation of another sort. Women want him, and men want to be him. Every bit an international man of mystery. Austin was the most loyal and caring friend I ever had. Love him. Uh, uh. Austin Powers' attraction over women is perhaps due to his uniqueness as a character. While researching my book, I interviewed over 300 people who claimed to know the pre frozen Austin Powers. I mean, in the biblical sense, as in to know. If I laid all the women that I've had relationships with end to end, I probably would. <laughs> now I know there's a dirty joke in there somewhere. <laughs> Fembots, part woman, part robot. Designed by evil people to take advantage of your natural inclinations. Hello, hello. Hello, Mr. Hello, Powers. Powers. Hello, Mr. Powers. Care to have a little fun? Care to have a little fun? Care to have a little fun? No, actually, I, uh, I have to save the world. Oh. Is it cold in here? Well, now I've programmed them to be my escorts, but they initially were designed by Dr. Evil as, as an enticement for me to sort of get me all horny, you know, get that mojo going, and then things would pop out of the jubblies and shoot at me and smoke would come at me or a spike or something like that. But I've tamed them and reprogrammed them to just dig me, baby, and watch the fur fly, baby, yeah! <laughs> Woo! Can you give us five minutes? <laughs> On the set, we had a chance you know, to talk about his adventures. And really, this is... The film is just the tip of the iceberg. Um, he's been through some extraordinary stuff. Well, I hope that people remember me as a free spirit, a libertine, a swinger, somebody who was a lover of love and a lover of life, and someone who saved the world from Dr. Evil. You know, I'm... Pretty certain that the man of the year, Times Man of the Year, will be him. Austin Powers is a force to be reckoned with. If you play the track Daydream Believer backwards, it says Austin is God. Regrets? I've had a few. But then again, too few to mention. The movie Austin International Man of Mystery opens May 2nd. But for Austin Powers, the man. It's just another day on the international spy beat. In a world that is still filled with mystery and intrigue, it is comforting to know that a man unthawed and unbowed remains out there, keeping our globe safely spinning. We're very lucky that Austin Powers is on our side. I'm Robert Culp for Comedy Central's Spyography. Thank you for watching. Not to belabor the point, not to make a short story long, not to just constantly rephrase things as if I'm doing a filibuster, no. Not to do that. Negative. Uh-uh. The opposite of. No way should I stretch this question out to its absurd length, or the length to which you think it should have stopped and then you've gone that section further, or it not taking the shape of its container, say, like it was a two-minute answer that I've turned into a five-minute answer, which you don't want. At all. You wouldn't want that. Little bit at all. Even one 
molecule that your body would not want that. The rest would say, no, we don't want that. And the molecule would say, no, I think it should. And then all the molecules start screaming ensemble like some sort of Welsh choir. We don't want that. For more information about Austin Powers, we recommend the film Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery, opening May 2nd. So visit your local cinema and see more about it.